Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be answering a question which was sent in by one of my Instagram followers. Joe, do airliners have an ignition key? That question is justifiable and made me smile. So let's get right to it. Uh, 1383, runway 27, take off. Uh, okay, let's work from bottom to top, starting with gliders. Gliders are first and foremost locked up in hangars or car trailers, and most of them don't have a lock at all. So to enter the cockpit, you grab the release handle through the fresh air window to unlock the glass dome. And as most gliders don't have a motor, they don't have a condition key. Now let's look at the Cessna 172 for example. These planes are very often parked outside and are accessible to anybody who's working or just wandering around at the airfield. So therefore it makes sense to have a key which locks the doors and other hatches to make it at least more difficult for thieves to enter the cockpit. And there is a market out there selling alarms for these aircrafts. Trust me, airplanes do get stolen once in a while. So, but the key's purpose is not only to lock the doors, it is also used as an ignition key to start the engine because most airplanes in the general aviation category have an electric starter motor, similar to the one in your car. So by turning the key, it acts like a mechanical switch connecting the battery with the starter motor. And other than that, during engine run-up procedure, you have to check the two magnetos of the engine ignition system by using the key. Moving up to little business jets like the Cessna Citation also have a key which opens the main door, which unfolds stairs to enter the cabin, and some cargo compartments are also accessible with that key but there is no ignition key to start up the engines. I know some executive jets have a key to start up the electrical system, but only to make it a little more tamper proof. Now, let's look how you would enter the cabin of a jetliner. That's it, no key. Now let's look how you would start the engine of an airliner. Again, no key. Now you may ask, how can that be safe? Now first of all, airliners are parked at secured and controlled airports with 24 hour surveillance. Any unimproved movement of the plane will be registered by local security and cause for alarm. So how do you secure the aircraft in case it is parked nowhere near a gate position, for example? You use so-called seals. Seals are numbered sprocket stickers which you can stick over any door or latch. So as a thief, you would have to open the door, break the seal, and there is no way that you can put that sticker back together again. So once you arrive at the aircraft, you compare the number of the seal and check if it's damaged in any way. And after entering the aircraft, the cabin crew will perform a thorough search of the aircraft before the first passenger comes on board. So to answer my followers question, no, airliners don't have a key to start the engine or to lock the doors, but smaller aircrafts, which are more likely to be parked outside at uncontrolled airfields, have locks on doors and hatches or maybe even their flight controls are locked with a padlock to prevent thieves from breaking in and just flying off. And if you have some spare time on your hands, go online and check if you can find the TV series Airplane Repo. It's a fun little show where pilots repossess all sorts of airplanes from Piper Cups to business jets which were either stolen or the owner couldn't pay the debt of their plane or is in some sort of financial trouble and somehow these guys never need a key. <laughs> Make sure to check it out. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure to perform a touch and go at my Instagram account. The link is in the description below and hit the subscribe button right here plus the notification bell so you won't miss out on future videos. See you next week. All the best, your Captain Joe.